Hello everybody, welcome back to our slash entitled parents. Our first reddit post is from Little Miss Bunny Woman. Entitled parent wants me to make him a sandwich. So since I adopted my kid, she's been having lots and lots of friends come around and of course that means I'm getting to meet the parents. So far I have met five of Kay's friends' parents, most of which have been lovely people and one I absolutely hate. There was another set of parents that we got off on the wrong foot, accidental racisms from them, and I recently had, we will say, um, pleasure of meeting Kay's friends, Ashley's father. Well, yeah. Let's get on with bunny story time! <laughs> okay, that was the cutest thing. Kay had her friend Ashley over for the night and it makes me happy. Kay has really opened up in the last few months and is growing into the confident, friendly, bubbly, joyful person. Well, the day after, I didn't know it was Ashley's father's day with her, so he came to the house to pick her up. The girls weren't ready to leave yet as they still had to pack clothing up. So instead of making the father wait out in his car, I told them that they will still be a few minutes and he's welcome to come inside and wait. I went ahead and tried to make the usual small talk, but instantly getting the creeper vibes off this guy, mostly because of the line of questioning and phrasing he was giving and using. It was a lot of, do you live here alone by yourself? This is a terribly big place for such a small little girl referring to me as the little girl or oh i should come visit you sometime your place can use a man's touch he basically treated my house as if it was his and just creeped on me big time well this guy decided to literally tell me oh go make me a sandwich for the road he didn't say, hey, I haven't got anything to eat yet. Was not polite at all. The asshole demanded food from a stranger he just met while waiting for his kid. I thought he was making a bad joke. I said my English is not that good. Are you making a joke? And he flat out said, no, I'm hungry. Go grab me a sandwich, doll. At this point, I am pissed off. This literally is the most misogynistic man I have ever met in my life. Oh, and did I say I was pissed off? Because I was pissed off. Like, pissed off. So, I did it. I put on my friendly, submissive, Asian lady smile and said, Okay, sir. And I went to the kitchen, got out some really good roast beef. It was from dinner a few days ago. And really nice French bread and made him a sandwich. I did add a healthy amount of ground Szechuan peppercorns. A nice glob of ghost pepper extract sauce. I use it for making super spicy chili. White pepper and a fine spread of minch scotch bonnet peppers. Packed it in a baggie and luckily the girls are ready to go as I packed the sandwich. I handed it to him with a big smile and said have a nice day sir as he walked out the door. I did immediately tell Kay to text her friend not to eat the sandwich and told her what was happening. Later that day, Ashley called Kay to say, What did you do to my dad? She was cry laughing on the call. Just an FYI, this was weapon grade spicy, as it was a smoked brisket. I used the juice from the brisket I saved to hide a lot of the spicy smell. So... <laughs> this is fantastic. Partially because you're awesome, 
He just went completely and utterly malicious compliance on the douchebag. And... <laughs> and, and Ashley is just loving it. She doesn't care that his dad probably can't breathe through the amount of spice. She's laughing her ass off. But we also have an update post. The fallout of the entitled parent wants me to make him a sandwich. I recently made a post about an interaction with an entitled misogynistic and a little bit racist parent and a nuclear sandwich. Well, this was the fallout from the interaction. So today when I went out to my front gate to get the mail, I received a letter with a no postage on it, addressed to... addressed to a word I'm not saying on YouTube, because that's racist as shit. What an asshole. But it was clearly addressed to... OP. My first thoughts were, oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. I had no idea who it was from, and to be honest, the town I live in is a bit odd. The northern part of the town is really high class doctors and lawyers who commute to Toronto and Niagara Falls, but the western half closer to the highway, to put it lightly, is a bit inbred hillbilly, marry your daughter, niece, to your brother's pet dog super racists. I live in the northern part of the town, and the two sections are separated by at least 10 kilometers of country road. I've had my fair share of run-ins with several of the more outspoken racists of the town, so I had no idea who it could be from. You know, since there are so many. So I, of course, read the letter, and it was basically a racist tirade about me being this horrible Asian blah blah blah, and that he will no longer per permit his daughter Ashley to be friends with Kay. That I have no business shaming a man like that. You know, the basic crap of an asshole. Well, luckily, Ashley lives full time with her mother, and sees him like, mm, two days a month? And I am writing this with Ashley's mother's okay. Actually, I am writing this as her, and I sit on my back deck drinking some spiked iced tea, and Ashley and Kay are in the basement. Playing. Not like that, guys. <laughs> Jesus. I also found out that Ashley's father took a bite of the sandwich, did a big chew, then a second bite before the heat hit him. Apparently, he was sitting all proud of himself at his kitchen table. When he unwrapped his sandwich, his face went red. He cried, and because of the aftermath, he spent the next day in the bathroom shitting out hot lava. He missed work. I just want to say, Ashley's mother is such a wonderful, decent woman. I can be I can see a long friendship with her. Also, from what I learned from Ashley's mum, her father believes in classical values. Women serve men. That the man's word is law in all situations with all women. He also used to beat the crap out of her, so she was happy a tiny little Asian lady gave him a dish served nuclear. So I think we can all agree OP is awesome. It's unfortunate that you have to, you know, go through that racist crap so much because of where you're living, but I'm glad you made some friends, and especially with Ashley's mum, because she seems like a great woman. Also, no fucking wonder that Ashley's dad only gets to see her like two days a month. I bet when Ashley gets older and his misogynism comes out on her, she isn't going to want to see him at all because she actually has a brain and oh my god I cannot believe 
how much of an asshole Ashley's dad is. But I am so glad that he missed out on a pay and he missed out on work and he was just screaming in the toilet as his ass basically got ripped in two. I mean, I'm not very good with spices. But I'm really not good with spices. I can't handle mild spice. Yes, I am that white. <laughs> but this makes me glad that spices like the ghost pepper chili exist. So you can just destroy someone's insides with an awesome sandwich. Our next Reddit post is from Educational Mine 827 Entitled mum thinks it's okay to let her current husband drive her son's car bought by his dad while the son rides on the bus. Disclaimer, this is not my story. But I saw this in social media about an entitled mum and her husband and just had to share it. My ex-husband called my phone fussing at me. He recently bought our son a brand new Benz for his birthday as a graduation present. My current husband had to get to work. So I told him to take my son's car because I had a couple of things to take care of and needed the Ultima today. He ended up dropping my son off at practice and told him to call me when he was done with practice so I can go pick him up. I overslept and missed my son's call to come pick him up. My son called his dad, but his dad was out of town, so he ended up taking the city bus. This man called me fussing, saying, I bought a car for my son, not some grown ass man. I didn't like my son taking the bus. This is why I got him the car. I'm paying the insurance on it and making the car payments. I come upon him. Am I wrong for letting my current husband use my son's car? Well, you're on entitled parents, so yeah. A, it's not your car. You are not on like the car title. Neither is your current husband. But you know who is? Your son. If your son gives you permission to let your husband drive the car, fine. Because at least then he has permission to do it. If permission is not there, technically it's theft. It's a bit of a, you know, it, it might be a bit of, you know, an overreaction saying like, yeah, it's theft, but technically that is what it is. And they don't pay for the insurance. They don't pay for any of the car payments. The dad does. I mean, what if, what, what if the da the stepdad, the current husband, crashed the son's car? Yeah, sure, it's got insurance, thanks to the dad who's paying for it. But I can just, you know, see with the whole entitledness of you guys, that I'm pretty sure you would just go, oh, well, we may have crashed the car, but you're already paying insurance, so it doesn't really matter. No, yeah, it does. It really does. Um, don't do that again. No. Well, guys, that was Arshlas. Huh. <laughs> Jesus. Can't do anything right today. Well, guys, that was Arshlash and Title Parents. If you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.